It's better. Cool. All right, for show. Welcome everybody. Another psycho show. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a, a nickname. And nickname. I was like, maybe this is the best nickname I thought. So, welcome to the psycho show. So the psycho show, aka the piss piss podcast. <laughs> like the PSPS with the PSPS. psycho of the, the show. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 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 But what I did think <laughs> there's something there. I just don't know. Nah, it's shitty. But um. It, it does make for an interesting design on a shirt, though, I was thinking. Mm-hmm. So, I might fuck with that. There you go. Alright, hello everyone. Try this is back. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna make another soul one. I was like, 50-50 and maybe we meet today. Actually, I was just joking. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, it's one of those things. But tonight, it seemed good. Yeah. Yesterday was kind of a blow up. Yeah, I was pretty sure that today was gonna work. Thank you for the coffee, too. It's all good, dude. Hot, 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 hot. Two types of coffee. I know people. That's crazy. That's how Indians do. Completely different temperature. Shit. <laughs> so, man, how's how's everything been? Uh, good, man. Just been hanging out, as you can see. Uh, got some some stuff. Moved in some stuff. Uh, came oh, yeah. up on some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A lot of changes coming soon. We'll mm-hmm. get into that. You know, Chinese will be moving. We yeah, might have a months. more stable studio because either he'll be mobile or we'll set up some shit his place or, or definitely my spot. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So that's cool. So recording regularly we should be even easier. Mm. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. Oh probably, yeah. Probably, well, yeah. Because then it's no like define. It's not you know. There's no outside factors to us recording. It's just what we're doing. It's just us. Yeah. yeah. Um. Dude, does the picture look fuzzy? It sort of looks a little weird, right? It could be the camera not focusing. Yeah, why is that? Uh, I don't know. It could just be where it's sitting on the table, or maybe there's something in front of it that's focusing on, and it's not uh, focusing Oh, yeah, it looks like it's focused on the mic. Mm. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I mean, most likely people won't even be watching the video that cool. much, so um, it is what it is. So, um... Hmm. Something crazy. Okay, so I mean, when you, when you talk to people, just around people in general, would you say that you're like super suave, like charismatic, or like more in the awkward side, mm. or does it depend? Like, depends you, on who I'm at? talking to and uh, if I'm comfortable around them or not. Not like I have to know them, but I mean, certain people, you know, they give off like a vibe, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so if their vibe is just uncomfortable, then I'm probably going to be all uncomfortable and awkward. Right, so, so with an uncomfortable vibe, it's hard for you to deal with them. Uh, and the, Not really, I just ignore them, like I just cut them out. But yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah. It's either that or you're, yeah, or it's awkward. Oh, okay, for sure. Yeah, um, but would you say that you're like uh, more... Like, there's more people that you're awkward with or more people that you think are cool? Mm. Like, does it skew There's more people. There's probably more people that are cool than I'm awkward with. The people that are awkward for me are just, like, the like the, the, the guy that I met at work, the fake tough guy kind of people. Oh, yeah. Explain, and, uh, explain him. Explain him a little bit. And he's not even a bad dude. He's just a guy who, like, worked security. You know, he probably should be a cop because he'd, he'd make a... He'd fit in real well with that group of people but um yeah he's just like he likes to talk about how he fucks people up and how he's a good fighter and how he knows how to fight and all this other shit but he's never probably taken a boxing class in his life he's never taken a martial arts class in his life he just is that that dude who thinks he's tough yeah yeah okay it's just uh it's funny i mean it's cool man i thought about it and was kind of like man fuck this guy fuck who you know people who act like this and all that but then i started thinking about it i was like who really gives a shit it's really it really doesn't matter uh yeah it's just weird. Fair enough. So there's there's more people that you're cool with. So that means generally you're not awkward then, mm. you would say. Right? Right? Sure, yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same way. There's some people I just hate, but I can sort of deal with them after just so much experience and just going in headfirst into a lot of social situations. Yeah. Um. I'd say, yeah. More, more likely than not, I tend to be... S- at least seemingly of an extrovert even though there's no like a like label you can really put on them in some situations you're an introvert everyone's an introvert in some situations everyone's an extrovert yeah you know it's just like you can be shy 
and that's sort of a detrimental. I think Shy sort of fucks you up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah. No, I mean, just in the long term in terms of chances, like, yeah. if you want to approach a girl, oh, or yeah. you want to approach someone for a sale, mm-hmm. you know, like, or... You, you definitely have to take yourself out of it, especially, like, in those circumstances. Yeah, yeah. it's more like the regret, like, mm-hmm. the way that I always view it, if I'm if I'm on the fence or I'm sort of scared, I'm just like, I'm going to, would I, would I feel bad not approaching this person tomorrow or in a week and the answer is almost always yes so it's just worth to just let it crash and burn because it's never it's never as bad as you think really Mm. um yeah I'm where I was sort of going was um when so even though like I was saying that I was like a um more on the charismatic side and most people know me to say that like I know a decent amount of people oh yeah you I mean we've been out and about yeah and we should um I mean I'll be we should do something for your birthday <laughs> I just, as long as I have cash dude I'll, I'll go no you don't even have to have cash we'll just go do something it's not uh, a big deal maybe you know what I'm saying get you a couple drinks a couple beers maybe we'll just do six pack right on the fucking light route alright just like crazy get a couple shots I know some people work a world of beer maybe and we can get some drinks Okay. Just relax, man. Stop yelling, dude. You just I'm not yelling. I'm crying, I just don't fucking go anywhere, man. Though, yeah. How old are you turning? Twenty six. What do you? What do you? What are your plans for your your twenty sixth year? Uh, move out. Uh, you know, get stable, and then figure things out. That's pretty much it. Pay off some debt, <laughs> some student loans. Get all, you know, just get everything tidy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the same shit. I'm on the same shit. My dad was hitting me with some crazy questions. Really? No, nothing too crazy. He was just asking me, like, you know, if I should live here, if I should move cities or whatever. He's just like, you should just put yourself in a situation and succeed. He doesn't know that I'm, like, doing the show. He doesn't know about the show. I mean, he's an immigrant, but he's super savvy. Like, if he hears the show, he'll listen to it. And yeah. I, I don't care if he judges me for it. It's not a big deal. He mm-hmm. knows I'm a psycho, but... <laughs> um, you know he's wrapped his head around it I talk to him very honestly just like I talk here now which is that's good very refreshing because pretty much my whole life in some sense or some form I was withholding or lying to my father so he's like the only, he was like you know the only source of strength um, when he was around when I was a kid I mean it's not that he wasn't around it's just that he had that immigrant work mentality and was mm-hmm. sort of hoping that my mom would hold it down together and so he was just working really hard you know trying to make money setting us up and he still has that mentality you know he feels broke even though he probably has like tens of thousands of dollars but it's crazy that's how we think you know like and at least just me and him my the my sister and my brother we seem to be quite a bit different especially my brother now but he's starting to get a little bit funny actually like actually sort of like funny wow. and like a little humorous so I, that's actually sort of positive I think because um, before you take things like really seriously in some way so I think that there's some changes going on he's a teenager so the experience has got to be hitting him differently and yeah especially nowadays it's yeah he, he doesn't he doesn't know um that I have a Snapchat, but because of the contacts and shit, mm. I can see that he has one. No, oh, yeah, that's but funny, he, dude. You know, so yeah, but I don't want to check it. So <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. I want to just let him do his thing. Mm. So uh, he's a good dude. That's funny, man. Tell people like even if you don't keep contact with them, they can keep tabs on you through the contacts. You know. Like, it'll tell them if you have, like, certain accounts associated with their phone? Or yeah, depending on the social platform that you're working on, yeah. for sure. They'll, like, tell if they're available or they're there. That's sort of cool. It's a nice little way to keep it's in nice. touch if you want. Yeah, if you want to. But if you're, like, trying to avoid all those motherfuckers, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to avoid a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. It's not a big deal. Most of my fault, probably. Mm. Damn, this fucking camera. It's sort of annoying, but... Whatever. If you like, put your hand out and let it focus. Maybe. Wee 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 wee. You you ever watched that? What was that? Kung Pao. Which one's that? With the the axe gang and all that, or? Uh no. It's what like was the, the one where they're like? Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. 
and there's pretty like a sure chick with like three tits and the guy is like he makes yeah I don't know pretty I don't know. sure it's yeah. crazy yeah there's a part when he makes that noise it's fucking hilarious hmm. it's just reminded me of that what a terrible story god damn terrible story that was a Jesus. great movie though yeah it was, yeah it was pretty good it wasn't as good as Tropic Thunder though uh, dude everyone loves that movie I didn't think Tropic Thunder was like that funny or good to be honest I don't know Dude, I watched it twice in theaters right when I started smoking. It's so funny. And the wow. and me and my homie, um, uh, I won't say his name. Me and my homie, we um, we watched it and like we'd be laughing at all the other parts. And me and him have really distinct laughs, him especially. So we laugh at all the parts where other people aren't laughing, but it incite other people to laugh. So literally, it was just like we were laughing for like two hours straight. Wow. And, dude, the funniest part of that movie, I think, is... You've watched the movie, right? Yeah, it's been... I haven't seen it since, like, it came out. Uh, yeah, you, you know when they get actually dropped into Vietnam and Ben Stiller's character thinks that it's, like... The movie? They're getting shot at and he thinks that it's a movie, right? <laughs> yeah. So he jumps down on one knee and he shoots like he's fucking Rambo. Ah! <laughs> dude, I'm fucking dying. I no. fucking almost rolled out yeah. of my seat. Because it's just like... I just don't like that kind of fucking classic. That's you, good. You didn't like blackface? You didn't like them doing blackface on that one? I didn't really care about Robert that. Didn't, I mean, right. a lot of people didn't like it at first, but I thought they are just being babies. But uh, Yeah, they are being fucks. You definitely couldn't do that now, I don't think. You don't think so, dude? Nah. I don't know. I think you can get a lot, away with a lot. Actually, now, yeah, maybe you would. It wasn't that long ago. No. I think you could get away with it. I just don't like that group of comedian, like, movie. You know, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Like, like you don't like the the Judd Apatow branch of comedy? I don't even know what that is, but yeah. That's the super bad. Um, oh, okay. Well, I mean, like super bad had its moments, but I didn't even think that was that good. I think that's a Judd Apatow film. I don't even know. Mm. We talk out of ass a lot, and I refuse to check Wikipedia. All wrong this yeah, shit, we so. have the internet. We could do if that we're wrong. Thing. You know, sorry, but, yeah. and uh, like I always, I always uh, invite, in yeah, comments. I always, yeah, <laughs> I always invite every single per- main person, like we're some sort of Hollywood execs, to come, come, oh, yeah. come f- fix it. So Seth Rogen, and you know, if you need to correct our shitty opinions and the knowledge, <laughs> and you need to like come through and make some sort of cursory appearance or long tail um, form explanation, we're willing to to handle that. No, I'm not. I'm good. You don't want to see Seth Rogen? No, I don't want to see him. That All guy's right, one of those, well. like, I smoke weed, but I gotta hide it because of my career kind of guys. I'm pretty sure he's not. Mm. We- he won't do, like, Doug Benson's uh, getting Doug with high because stuff like that. Like, he could probably lose sponsors or money. So, really? Yeah. So he, like, won't smoke on the show. Or maybe he's just worried about being, like, super I think I've seen him on GGM with Snoop, though. Yeah, yeah, and he was high out of his mind. He did it once, yeah. But well, I think after that, he probably... Oh, man. Well, maybe it's because it's Snoop, you know, it's not... Okay, so if this blows up, are you going to pull shit like that? What do you mean? Not smoke because of sponsors? Oh, no, no, no. I don't care about that. I probably I'm shouldn't smoke. I'm myself. I'm sorry. I already sponsored I probably myself. shouldn't smoke just because I get a little retarded, but... Oh, yeah, I try not to smoke mm. too much before the show. It's just getting crazy. Mm. I mean... I smoked a ton. It just anyway. makes me tired, man, before the show. Well, yeah, it's sometimes that. it can be like uplifting and energetic, or whatever. But like most of the time, I'm just like, uh. Yeah, sometimes it's just crazy, and I, plus I like I, the fact that we just pretty much start. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. the setup going, and then we just fucking keep it fucking cracking. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to waste like the 20 minutes going into it. Yeah. Getting burned. Uh, I got a little high. I'm good. Yeah, dude, I've been smoking that uh, whatever it's called. It's pretty good, man. Uh, I coughed my fucking lungs out earlier. It's pretty bad. Oh, man. I get carried away because I don't know. It's hard to tell in those little vapor pens. Like, oh, yeah, what's yeah, a yeah, big yeah. hit, what's a little hit, yeah? So, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking going in pretty hard. Backfired. Backfired in the forms of uh, coughing. Um, there's a potential possibility I might have to... Leave and double back for ten, or we have to just delay that or something. Mm. Yeah, it's all good, man. He, I guess his birthday is tonight, so oh, he wanted to hang out or whatever. But it's not a big deal. Yeah. What's your What's your work schedule looking like? Do you already know when you're off? Yeah. So weekends off for now, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somehow I got that. So I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's ten to seven, 
and uh, Thursday it's like 5 a.m. to whatever eight hours from 5 a.m. is, mm -hmm. and then Friday it's 10 to 7. So we can either do really early or like around this time. Okay, on what? On we any can? day. Well, yeah, oh, any whatever. Day. Yeah, I mean. You said 10 to 7. Oh, mm. gosh, you gotcha. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not too bad. bad. It's kind of weird because it, like, takes out a big chunk of the day, but I don't do shit anyway, so. Right, right. Yeah, it's not going to affect me. Probably be easiest for you late, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, getting up early, yeah, because I want to get up and just, like, eat food and then go down there. Dude, okay. how you been doing on your diet, my dude, as far as, like, food you've been eating? Terrible this Terrible. week, dude. I <laughs> ate, like, shit in Vegas. Came back, tried to clean it up, cleaned it up a little bit towards the end of the week, mm. and just just been doing shit. I had a couple friends come from out of town, just ate pizza. Yeah, I had pizza today. Went to my dad's week. house today, ate just a bunch of rice and shit. I'm going to eat a salad tonight and try to get back on it. And dude, I could tell with my energy levels, like when I eat... The junk, you can feel it? Dude, it's not even junk, just I want to eat too many carbs, like... Uh. I get super tired. That's why I'm in like. I get like in the state where like I could almost even like just pass out. Just pass out wherever. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then when I was like eating just more protein and fat and just no carbs or very low carbs, energy was just better. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought a bunch of. I got a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go in hard starting tomorrow. I was actually already doing well, but then this weekend they got pizza and I was like, fuck. I was like, all right, pizza. So, <laughs> mm. so started getting back on Monday, man. A lot of, a lot of hard boiled eggs, a lot of salad, a lot of spinach. What's the avocado thing you do again? You throw the avocado and an um, egg. I don't do it too much anymore, but there's two different ways. So, like, you can do like an uh, half an avocado, and yeah. you like crack an egg into the pit of the avocado, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then you throw it in the oven for like 12, 15, 20 minutes. But um, another one that I think is probably better is if you just get like the yolk and not the whites. I mean, I don't know which one's better for you. But you can, like, kind of, you know how you do with the egg. You get all the whites out, and then you just put the yolk right in the middle. Same thing, just without the whites. But maybe the whites are good. Maybe they're bad. I don't know. Um, but it's less of a mess, that's for sure. But uh, right now, in the morning, I'll do, like, I'll just fry an egg real quick. Like, hard-boiled egg, or not hard-boiled, but a sunny-side-up egg with, an, with a whole avocado. Um, and, like, a jalapeno. And uh, about some... Uh, it's, like, habanero chili mm -hmm. sauce, but it's got, like, avocado mix in it. It's really fucking good, and it's not super hot. It's just, like, it's, it's hot, but it's not crazy hot. Uh, so I've been doing that, like, every morning. Uh, pretty healthy. I don't know, like, the best way to cook an egg, though. Like, what's the most healthiest egg, so... Mm, I don't know if there's any specific way, really. Mm. I guess bo hard boil would probably be probably. the way. Yeah, I'm going to do it. That's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to boil a bunch of eggs. So I get up tomorrow and just kill it and go to work. And then for lunch, man, I've been doing, like... A little bit of fruit, I'll have like a couple apple slices, a couple grapes, and uh, maybe some cheese, dairy, but I should cut all that shit out too, probably. I don't think cheese and dairy is that bad. Yeah, I hear I, mean, I don't eat much of stuff. it. Yeah, I don't eat too much of it, but mm -hmm. I can't not eat cheese, I think. <laughs> I'd rather cut out... Yeah. I think if you cut out the carbs and the fat and the protein and the cheese, it's not is too okay, bad. right? Mm, well, it's like the processed cheese is what's bad for you, apparently. Right. Yeah. Okay. So maybe just cut out processed cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to cut out everything. Everything, shit. yeah. I had fish yesterday, man. I had some, like, white... Uh, a la carte or some weird shit. Yeah. yeah it was fucking good. <laughs> I just yeah. put like a little like tablespoon or half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of mayonnaise and black pepper, mm. some fish, had some triscuits and an avocado and it was like fucking really good. Damn. Yeah. So like canned fish isn't so bad. Just not every day, yeah. I don't think you should eat it every day. Um, fish? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, because of mercury or the... Just whatever, little metals. Yeah, the metals and the fuck... That's all because of us, too. <laughs> yeah, we're just dumping bullshit into the ocean. Dude, it's delicious, too. It's delicious. Not the, well, the I guess food that comes out of the ocean. I know, dude. The ocean is such like a necessary resource for us, and we're just fucking polluting it. It's crazy. Yeah, you see that the 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 coral... I don't know if oh, I said that. Yeah, it's yeah. bleaching. Yeah. Bleaching out. Like it's not supporting the, life yeah, anymore. The Great Reef, yeah. Uh, that's crazy. But that's been going on for a while, though. But they've... um. It's just doing it really rapidly right yeah, now. Yeah, they so that's the thing. It started out and they started like taking notice of it, and then there was like a resurgence of animal, you know, life and all of that kind of stuff, and that just died now. And now it's like becoming a barren wasteland. 
It's crazy. So it's like that resurgence was for nothing, or it did, you know. All right, fuck. It was like uplifting. It was, you know, a good thing to see, and then all of a sudden it stomped out. It's crazy. Man. Well, the fuck. Fuck. It doesn't help Japan. Like, dude, you can't even eat fish. Like, there's a advisory out to not eat fish from Japan. People still do, uh, obviously, because of the pollution from the... Nuclear wave, mm-hmm. Fukushima. And it's just, like, leaking Fukushima. out into the fucking ocean. I think maybe they've contained it at this point, but, I yeah. mean, so much has leaked down to the ocean. Um, and then, like, you can get... There's certain parts of Japan where you can, you can get, like, one of those little meters and walk around, and there's, like, dangerous levels of the radiation and Everywhere. shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, the thing is, it's... If there's that much radiation there, it's not like it's just concentrated and going to stay there. The ocean mm. and the water just moves it's around flush through it out. storms. And mm. I'm not saying it's going to flush it out. It's going to spread or yeah. already has spread. Oh, it's yeah. been, what, four years? Yeah, since 2011, I think is when it happened. Shit, that's like Dude, I remember years. being in my room and watching it live, like, on camera and shit, like they had on the internet. Yeah. Like, footage from the helicopters and shit. It was crazy. I just couldn't believe it, man. It's pretty heavy. Damn, damn, damn. Mm-hmm. I would still move there in a heartbeat, though. <laughs> Dude, or just eat the, damned. eat the nuke fish, the nuke the skills. Nuke fish. I mean, there's alternatives to, to fish, but yeah, I think that's like a primary resource out there is the fish markets. And I'm thinking that they're getting a lot of fish from overseas. A lot of um, f- uh, like sushi people, they won't eat fish from that's not like caught in Japanese seas or something like that. Like there's a big like problem that they have with getting people to eat certain fish. Really? Mm-hmm. Because they're like diehards out there about their sushi. And so they're just dying. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I think that they're just like, uh, there's probably a super expensive to get the kind of fish that they want. Like clean, good fish. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how severe it is, obviously, but that's what I was, I was watching a bunch of documentaries on. I think Vice did one recently where they had some dude who went out there and uh, he tried to get access to like certain parts of Japan and they were pretty much, they sent him out with like a crew and they all had fucking hazmat suits on. Except for the guy who was leading the crew, and you could tell on his face that he was, like, worried about radiation and all that kind of shit, but his company has paid him to be this guy to be like, oh, there's no problem out here, you could come out here and fucking walk around naked and you'll be fine, but meanwhile the little <laughs> radar thing is just going off the scales, like... Damn. Yeah. Some sort of payoff type shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they probably pay him to, you know, make all the bad press go away. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, oh, man... This fucking world is just has so much crazy shit going on. Yeah. It's so big, and there's just so much crazy... There's so much good and bad shit going on. There's probably a lot more bad shit. God, this Yeah, but it's like half of the, the, sh- the bad shit isn't even like... They had good intentions. It's just we didn't really fully think that through. Like, how do you not think, uh, let me build this fucking nuclear reactor off the coast of Japan or wherever the fuck it's at in Japan and a place prone to earthquakes and, like, think that nothing bad could ever happen. Like, what the fuck? How do you have all that knowledge and not think ahead like that? Or perhaps, you know, put it more inland or somewhere, anywhere other than where it's going to cause the most damage? It's not good. bad. I'm fucking all distracted here. It's all good, man. Take your time. Uh, no, I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Uh, it's just uh, my homie with the bike lighter project, so I'm just double checking with some shit. And yeah, I'm out here recording this, so I don't want to just run out. So it's like one thing over the other, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my bad. We might have been able to meet up like an hour ago or an hour and a half ago. I think it's my but. fault. I had to ride. I was the one that had to drive here, and I was running lanes. Fuck. Everything's my fucking fault, no, dude. I don't know about uh, that, dude. Yesterday yeah. was just, there was a lot to do, so yesterday I got, I had to get pushed back. Yeah. Fuck. But yeah. Yesterday, that's that's not even a big deal. Mm. They just, I was busy and shit, so it ended up working out all right. I had to see some friends from out of town, but. Yeah, did you ever go see that one guy it. you were talking about? Which one? The Indian gentleman. Uh, oh yeah, he comes into town. He's not in town yet. He comes uh, into town Tuesday. Right he's on. my he's my homie. I was just talking about earlier. Mm. Um, with the laugh. With the oh Tropic okay Thunder. okay. <laughs> Tropic Thunder, yeah. That's, I mean, dude, I, it wasn't like a terrible movie. It's just it's not my kind of humor. I like like witty kind of underlined humor. You know, like shit. Mm. Yeah yeah yeah. It's so like. Me and him were having discussion about the difference between a few hours and a couple hours. 
He's like, oh, I thought when you said that you'd be free in a few hours that you're going to be free in, like, two hours. And I mm. looked, and I was like, oh, this a couple, guy? yeah, a couple mm-hmm. exactly means two, but a few could mean, what, three, or three four, four five, five, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. just a rough estimate. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this guy is oh, yeah, passive aggressive like now. a motherfucker. Yeah, no, that's no, no, how no. I'm not. I'm not leaving not early. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll text him, but don't even just don't, don't even stress that. it. Let's just do our damn thing. I'm okay. not even looking at this because fuck this and let the show be fucking great and fuck everybody else because <laughs> shit's annoying. I mean, we have this shit going on, but it's like make your fucking communication clear if you need me fucking there rather than be like, oh, I thought you're gonna be a few hours. So it's a few hours. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Fuck anyone who's passive aggressive. How the fuck do you expect to do anything but torture people? Or just annoy them. Like, yeah. why would I want to do you a favor when I'm annoyed? Do people who are passive-aggressive actually think that, like, fucking helps? I, I don't think they do. I think they just get off on it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh... Did, yeah, do they think they're solving them? shit? Yeah, that, yeah. No, I don't even think it is. Because I used to be sort of passive-aggressive. My, my mom's fucking passive-aggressive sometimes. Mm. Like, I think passive-aggressive people are just, like, just saying shit, trying not to offend fucking people. Mm-hmm. But are just fucking just saying how they feel and just overblowing the fucking situation like a motherfucker. Could be that, man. That's how the students kind of get in. Or maybe they don't have to overblow it, but it's like directly communicate your feelings and stop being sort of a bitch about it. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't say an exact amount of time. <laughs> if anyone gets fucking, I'll be by soon. And they don't clarify the time. You can't get pissed off and them and show up in three hours or 15 minutes. Yeah, unless you guys give, like, an exact time or, a, you know... Like, like a, a friend's like, hey, man, I'm going to stop by soon. And he shows up in two weeks. That soon is relative. Yeah, but... You're I mean, turning okay, 26. But you're turning context, 26. Yeah, but in context, that could be weird. Right? If you're like, yeah, but what, what if there's no context? Well, okay, yeah, especially if there's no context. Yeah, you can't assume things. And if you are assuming things, maybe you should ask because that's the better thing to do, I think. Yeah, I'm just like... I wish I didn't even hit up this person <laughs> to be like, oh, yeah, hey, I'd like to see you sometime later tonight if you're trying to chill. Mm. And then now it's just backfiring because they're like, oh, I thought you were going to hit me up earlier. So I was planning on this, this, and this. Mm. So I was like, whatever. That's whack. It's all good. Yo, I got the strongest craving for a cigarette right now. It's crazy. Oh, my God. It's driving me fucking nuts. We're going for another hour at least. Yeah. And we can't smoke in here. No. I don't even have any cigarettes. That's the worst part. Oh, yeah. Your empty box is holding my fucking <laughs> yeah. tin box. I was recording this thing together. Mm. Okay, so uh, what was the shit that I was saying here? So where I was going with that earlier. Let's go. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. Yo, I like so, how those notes are laid out like that. And the iPhone, it's not like that. It's like they bunch them into tabs. Here, let me see. Really? Yeah, I don't like it at all. It drives me crazy. Android notes, I mean, it's just like a notepad. Yeah, which is which is cool. Like, see, like, this shit is super frustrating because, like, it'll do, like, a bunch of subcategories. And when you first set it up, it doesn't tell you that it's storing them to the cloud. So if you turn the cloud off, all those notes you took are fucking gone now. Oh, no. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like it either. But this, I mean, it runs out of memory pretty quickly and shit. Uh, so, let's see here. So I was talking about awkwardness earlier. Yeah. I used to have this issue, but I wonder... I'm going to ask you if you ever had this issue. Okay. And so I think everyone does to an extent, but like sometimes to me it used to be really common. So now I have to slow down how I approach people and how I talk to them mm. because of this very issue a lot of times. You, how often would you say stuff... Like you'd say something to someone yep. and you'd say something that that to everyone or like the way that you say it or however you say it means something yeah but you meant the complete opposite of what that was like so am i saying it so like like you go up to a a chick who Mm. all right here's an example this is the first example like a chick who's fine (laughs) yeah and you're like oh hey nice dress but you say with the that exact delivery i said so it sounds sort of sarcastic, like, oh, what? Kind of rude, maybe? Yeah, like, yeah. it sounds rude. And you're just like, oh, my God, that's, that was the exact opposite. Of or, what I was going for? Yeah, yeah. I don't have that problem, probably because, like, I think that shit out. I repeat it to myself over and over in my head before it actually comes out of my mouth, just right. as a uh, frantic nature. But. Right, right. 
Mm. Man. So I don't have that problem so much. But uh, I have more of just like verbal vomit where I just say something that I think... And in the moment, it's like funny to me and I say it and I just feel retarded. But. So for you, you have verbal... So... Okay, so explain to me what the, your verbal vomit is like. I just like say too much or I just say really dumb shit. And in my mind, I'm like thinking that like... So like it'll be a joke that I've heard somewhere mm-hmm. and I'll say it. Not like as with a no joke. With no context. With no context, right. And I just assume that they'll funny understand. It. Exactly. You say inside jokes with no... When no one, know, no one inside is there, yeah. Right. But I get a kick out of it, you know. But uh, I, I, have, I actually have a crazy. similar problem. That's actually a similar problem with me. <laughs> I I exp- like I said I started experiment with stuff so any the way that I realized how I could be sort of charismatic mm. to be charismatic the only way I could win people over is if I have literally almost no filter once I start thinking about shit or playing it too crazy mm. it starts falling apart yeah like usually once I learn that I come to almost every situation with broad broad viewpoints maybe as an, and, but no game plan mm-hmm. like I have to feel it out for that situation right on that energy rock with it it's pretty much sense. a show yeah you know but that's how I roll with everything I mean I felt like I was forcing it in some shows earlier um I feel like I was up until the last the, the last one the last song. one was a good one mm-hmm. and then when I had the soul one was pretty good but even then I, I was like I, I think I forced just like two little things I'm like what why like mm-hmm. Always let the game come to you. When you're forcing, like, we feel the awkwardness. But it's just funny how, like, sometimes I feel like once you let the awkwardness just keep repeating, you allow yourself to feel it. <laughs> just, it just be- it can really become funny. a habit or yeah. some shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to, like, Sorry. for a long period of time, you know, Scratch for, my for a lot of reasons, I'm not, I wasn't trying to meet, like, be really gregarious or, like, out there. And meet people. I was just trying to avoid meeting people, but um, I think I need to get back to being me- like I my. So I trained. I trained my normally more outgoing self, ready to meet people, to not wanting to do that. And now I'm trying like, I should go to. back. And I'm like, this is sort of weird because like my natural inclination is like, why? Like I could do, it, but I'm just like, mm. there's no point. Well, well no, I'm but there is a s- point. I, I guess. know why. Okay, so. Open doors. Just open doors. Oh, okay. I guess, but I don't even, like... Man, I feel like I'm the same boat when it comes to that. Um, But it's, like... It's almost like a fucking... A hassle to be myself around people because I'm such a fucking... I'm just always over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the thing is, I started toning the over top out, and that's what this is for. Mm. Like, I'm actually noticed that by doing this show, I'm able to cut that out. See, that's weird, man. I just get... Like, I'm... I'm not really worried about, like... uh, like what people perceive it's just like I, I don't know it's like draining to be myself because it's just too much no I know yeah. it is mm. I, f- I'm, I, I think that's interesting you say that because I, I think we share this in common but I feel the same way like I'll just say stuff things that are like inside jokes to myself it's just you know they'll make me crack up <laughs> yeah. a lot of times they'll get other people to crack up or they have no idea but they're what just I'm laughing about. at how insane you are yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or they have no idea what you're talking about yeah. but the thing is <laughs> Yeah. Well, I like it's sort of like a release of creative energy in some sense. Mm. That's what the show's for. So if you have that, you should release it here. I try to, man, but then I don't know. Like that stuff comes in like, uh, but I've repressed it yeah, so yeah, much yeah, yeah. that it just doesn't come as like freely as it used to. Right, but I'm just saying, like it's it's going to start bubbling now that you have the open gates over here, and you can release yeah. that energy here because that's the whole point. Like, right. I'm releasing this energy here. Like, oh god, this yo. You know, I wish this guy didn't fucking irritate me because I pretty much forgot about it while I was just talking about that. And then I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, real life. Damn it, that's fucking... And he's an important, important Yo, piece of my life. Dude, I'm so excited to move in three months, man. You don't even... Like, it's hard to explain. Dude, yeah, me it's too. It's hard to put into words. No, I'm pumped. Yeah, I just don't know where I'm going to live. It's, I'm thinking either Chandler or Mesa. Mm. I mean, I don't really want to live in Mesa just because I know a bunch of people down there and it's most parts pretty ghetto, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you live in a place close to Tempe, right on the, right on the. That would be sick. Those are the yeah. ones that are usually pretty cheap. I'm just looking for like a small one bedroom studio. Yeah, I'm saying probably. those are the type of spots that are there, mm. and you should look for them. They're pretty cheap and it'll be like okay, so relatively mobile. Yeah, and it won't be like. I mean, I don't like, need to be down the street from where I work. I'll, I'll be. I'll have a vehicle again. So. 
Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Mm. Um, I mean, because that shit's like right down the street off. Yeah, Colorado. I mean, maybe you do want to live out here. Uh, for that reason, that's what I'm thinking. But uh, dude, I looked like online the other night, and most places that that like look that are available on like a couple applications I used are like seven fifty, eight fifty, and up. So it's like, mm. yeah, it's not terrible, but that's kind of that's kind of where I don't want to be. You're but, trying to be what in the six? Yeah, six, six fifty, yeah, seven probably at the most. Mesa for that. Mm-hmm. And probably in those areas where I was just saying, like mm. on Broadway or University, between the 101 and Dobson or the 101 and Alma School, there's a okay. bunch of spots there. That's not too bad. No. No. Yeah, I might look into that then, yeah. But I mean, if I have to pay more, I'll pay more just to be comfortable. But right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to save every penny. That's another thing, man. Like, go oh, the next three months is going to be crazy savings. I'm like, I'm probably going to get the apartment, get another vehicle, and get like a laptop, and like, that's going to be my three things when nice, I move in. Nice, yeah. nice, Um, yeah. I might be, just for some quick cash, looking into buying and selling some laptops and getting getting one myself. Yeah. So I'll let you know because they're going to be mostly Macs and shit, MacBooks. Sweet. Yeah, do let me know. Yeah, so I should be able to get a good deal on them. Yeah, uh, obviously okay. You up. I'm down for that, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, definitely a Mac, though, man. I, I got, I've had PCs, but then you can, like, dual boot anything on a, you know, on a hard drive nowadays, so... Yeah, I could put Windows, Macs, and Linux all in one. Get like a really dope, like, six terabyte solid state or something. I'm fucking. I don't know. Linux is cool, but. It would just be a a fucking pain, with. It's being a pain to, to do, do the show and mm-hmm. shit. I mean, I like these. Audacity works. Cheese works. But then, I mean, those other shits, like, come on, OBS, like, you can't handle it. Like, even yeah. though it says it has a Linux adaption, like, come well, on. I think they edited it. I think there was, like, a full version, and then they tried to do, like, a stream streamlined version, and then they fucked it. I think that's what happened. Shady version. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so that's interesting. So, in terms of being awkward, you don't have awkward moments. You're just an awkward person. I mean, everyone has awkward moments, but, yeah, and I'm just awkward in general. But you're not awkward. Uh, I think around not... people that know me, they don't consider me awkward, probably. Right, I used to, like... Pretty realistic, but I'm also just fucking spastic. Yeah, I have... I mean, like I said, I do that same type of thing. I, I used to... Oh, shit. Oh. Should we kill it? Blew it no. off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, it's got wings that came back. <laughs> it's like a little... the battle of the fly. Get out of here, man. Oh, get out, dude. You're ruining the fucking cast, man. You're yeah. so loud, you bitch. You bitch. It's not even... It's like a moth or something, right? This is how Homo sapiens took over the world. First, we started with the small things. <laughs> killing insects. Killing insects. Eating them, <laughs> eating them, and killing them. Second... Would you eat bugs, my dude? Like crickets and shit? Deep fried uh, crickets, anything like that? Oh, for sure. Really? Yeah. Have you ever... No, uh, no, well, like the worm at the bottom of tequila bottle, I've had that before. Oh, but that shit gets you fucked up. Does it really? I didn't, I think I it was does. already so fucked up, myth. dude. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. I've heard people just black out from this shit. So. Uh, really? Wow. That's good. I mean, I was already like a bottle of tequila deep, but. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Just drink, I, I don't think it does do that, but. But I've never had like, uh, like deep fried crickets or fucking grubs or anything like that. Okay. Have you or no? Um, I've had, like, chocolate-covered crickets. Whoa, was it good? Was it just, like, crunchy chocolate? Um. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> you don't taste it. You don't taste it. Well, that's what really. everyone, it's just everyone chocolate, says. You know? it's, it's probably because it's deep fried, bro, but if you eat them raw, it'd be, like, fucking pus. I- I heard there's this protein bar mm. that's made with, like, ground-up crickets. That's true. There was a... I think he was on Joe Rogan's podcast or something like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or some, he was on something that I saw. Maybe it wasn't that, but it was, like, a, 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 like a fucking something I read on the internet or I saw him on a show somewhere. But I think the guy who, like, invented it or works with the guys who mm-hmm. make it, yeah, he was, like, showing it off and it looked pretty fucking... looked pretty healthy. It looked pretty good. Like, I mean, it doesn't yeah, it's supposed taste anything to be. like that. Just people yeah. have to get over eating bugs. Well, I don't know what the fuck with that. Do we eat bugs just, for hundreds of years? Those shits are crushed up or they, like, <clears throat> make them into a powder. Yeah. And if it's, like, a sugar-free, healthy alternative to eating, like, fucking Cliff Bar, I'm down, yeah. dude. Whatever. In India, I used to pride myself on eating ants sometimes. Really? Yeah, just the black ones. You can't <clears throat> eat the red ones, I think. Because of well, poison crazy. in them. That's racism. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Segregation. <laughs> it is. It is It is a natural selection racism, though. Yeah. To live, mm-hmm. man. 
Um, yeah, so not only do I do awkward shit like that, but occasionally I used to have a really bad thing with it. I would say something to someone and I would say literally the opposite of what I meant almost. Mm-hmm. And I just did that the other day for <clears> the first time in a long time. And it was a small thing, but um, a friend of mine was like, oh, you know, I'm looking at this place. I got to move out of here in a month and a half, but I'm pretty sure this is where I want to look at. Yeah. But I feel like it's late. Um, looking, you know, I'm, in, I'm all frantic, and I was like, oh, you're thinking it's too early? Oh, no, 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 it's perfect timing. Yeah. But then, yeah, that's what you the word that I, word, the word that I meant to say, mm-hmm. she gave me a weird look, I was like, wait, what'd I say? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shit, I said the opposite of what I would say, I meant, oh, you're thinking that it's late, but it's perfect timing. Instead, I said, oh, you're thinking that's early, but it's perfect timing. Like, I was claiming that she was uh, late. I'm like, like yeah. what the fuck? Literally the opposite of what I wanted to say. Wow. But do you think it was, like, an unconscious, like, decision you made, or was I it... Think, I think it was just a high mistake or Oh, uh, okay, okay. But... Like, numbers backwards kind of shit? Yeah, yeah. like... Dyslexia or something? Some shit. <laughs> Yeah, it was sort of fucked up. But yeah. yeah, I used to do some shit like that. Another thing I used to fucking do... Dude. Uh, I still sort of deal with this sometimes. But when I was young... Mm. Dude, I used to fucking just have... be. I'm a mouth a mouth breather naturally, I think. Dude, you yeah. Oh, uh, okay. And... Do you ever get to breathe through your nose? Like, is there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mostly now. Yeah. Um, but my teeth... They <laughs> like, I got a funny story about that after. No, you're good, you're good. They, like, grew out, like... I had, like, an overbite, and they're, like, instead of being straight up and down, they're, like, a little bit out, like a motherfucking, uh, like a, not even a crocodile, like a retarded hippo or some shit. <laughs> and, um, my dad, he would always be clowning me, like, my family would be, like, they'd do this with the, when my mouth would just be open like this, mm. and just go like this, mm. to get, to remind me to close <laughs> my mouth. Yeah. And... You know, I'm a mouth breather, bad asthmatic back then, especially. Yeah. Not really so bad anymore, but back then it was bad. And my teeth grew out, so then I got braces, they pulled the teeth back, and then my mouth was more easily able to close, and plus I was, like, playing basketball, and so my lungs expanded. Yeah. And became stronger, so I was just breathing through my nose at that time. So I just breathed through my nose. I think when I go to sleep, I might go to the mouth sometimes. Depending. I wake up with a puddle of fucking drool. Yeah, I think I must have switched it up. But um, because of this and just the lips being weird or whatever, Mm. dude, I used to drool so much when talking to people. Sometimes randomly, really, like just like be talking. And then, like, <laughs> real cool. I've done it, dude. I've done it in weird, like, smokeout sessions where I take a hit of the bowl and like, it just comes up out of my mouth. And I'm just like, well, that was weird. And everyone's watching me. And they still just, like, spit right. come out but, of my mouth. But you have a reason so for bad. that. And they're like, oh, you know, you had a little crazy on the hit. There's no reason. Do you reason, think it's just that or just a no weird reason body reflex? high school it when mm-hmm. talking to a girl that, you know, gives him <laughs> a super, super hard job. Yeah. Uh, that he just drew out of his face. That's and that, I mean, it was happened to me in high school. Like, mm-hmm. I'd be like 13, 14, 15, maybe even 16, just drooling out my mouth. Didn't wow. happen in college. <laughs> of anybody. Gods, yeah. But it's just like, dude, like, <laughs> what is, like, I just make a lot of spit. My tongue literally is, like, super short. Like, mm. it's tiny. Like, just that alone, I think I decrease the amount of pussy I'll probably get off of the show by like 50%. No, I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna hold you to that. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're right. This show's not gonna get me laid at all. <laughs> you never know, Most man. We're, we're picking up in the UK, bro. We might get that. Dude, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first three shows. European are pussy. God, I wish this guy wasn't. So, after this show, I'm gonna hit him up and then we'll make an audible about homie. Okay. If uh, we want to see him for his birthday or whatever. Oh, who's that? Like, uh, let me let me take a leak real quick. Are you, ta- are you talking about this dude or? Yeah, on his birthday. I'll tell, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. I gotta take a leak, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, uh, like, Can yeah, you get out that no, way? No, no, need more. Yeah, let me get out. Let me get out. I require more space. All right. Uh, thank you, sir. Dude, you just. Oh, my God, dude. I know, I'm sorry. Are you a drunk? <laughs> dude. I'm a little roached over, you know. Really? Yeah, from earlier. I mean. This morning, give me a sec. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, got you. This, this guy's on drugs right now. What the hell is going on here? Dude, this is like... 
the Chida's piss break, like I should I should do a mini show during the series. This is the piss piss show. So during the the piss piss show, we just talk mad shit about Chida's. I wish Chida's had a stronger bladder. Fucking asshole. Fucking dickhead. Piece of shit, son of a bitch. And that's the end of the first Piss Piss show. Cool. At the end of the first Piss Piss yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the Piss Piss show is actually back, sir. It's every time you have to piss. It's so common. So what oh, I do is I... Drink I no, no, no. Let me, give, let me just tell you. Let me give you a little recap <laughs> of the first Piss Piss show. All right, all right. I talk. I just talk shit about you until you come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're going to clip it and make a reels? I can do that. I might right. do it. All right. <laughs> We're always just trying to roll something new out, and it's always shitty. Yeah, I didn't say that, bro. Fuck you, dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I'm down. It's whatever. I do piss a lot. We should address it. Uh, it's not a big deal. I got a weak pussy bladder, or uh, I just drink like a lot of fluid. Maybe I've got cancer. We're gonna ask. You cancer. have a weak pussy. Got that? But okay. what about your bladder? <laughs> It might be small, or I could have cancer or something. So you have a weak pussy, and I've never had anyone what? put their fingers on my asshole before. That it's has about, nothing to do with your bladder. I thought like if you had like uh, colon cancer or something, it like affected how how often you urinate. I think it's prostate. Oh, uh, that's the one I meant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. But you actually urinate though. Yeah. Oh, so it's like you can't urinate. When I think you're... it just makes you feel like you urinate, but you don't. Oh wow, that's fucking weird, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, but I think. If you're doing Kegels or jerking off regularly or having a lot of sex, that it's like, and you keep that prostate working. No, it's hard to so get then I that. need to fucking masturbate more. Is what it is. Oh, dude, something. Oh, dude, <laughs> I need to up my numbers, dude. I gotta fucking get in there and do some work. Gotta get MLG. Maybe, on that maybe honestly, yeah. For your health, you should masturbate. <laughs> for your health, doctor recommended. I'm a doctor. Yeah, I was actually talking to everyone. And then I'm actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. yeah. Actually, you know, mm. I guess, like, you know, there's, like, that that possibility of, like, um, like, <clears throat> porn, like, I guess there's a positive from not masturbating. What's that? Makes I don't know. Like, I guess it, like, makes, yeah, or some shit. But that's I don't know. I think it might be negative. Like, maybe it'd just be too, like, fucking... I would be, I would be like, flustered all the time, man. Yeah, I would be like, I can't even moves. look at... <laughs> yeah, dude, I, can't I can't even, I can't even work around these fucking bad bitches. Ass bitches, yeah. Dude, they wouldn't even need to be that bad. Dude, so at the new work spot, my dude, there's oh. like, oh my god, it's a squad of bad chicks that work there. It's crazy. At, at this big <laughs> store? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we're not trying to say it? No. Really? Yeah. Can, it's pretty crazy. Can we start uh, Once I actually start in getting into working there, yeah. Awesome. Come Monday. I honestly, I used to work at a related store. Mm. The uh, the slightly bigger box related version. Just yeah. I don't even want to go into it, but... Yeah, there was some badass shit. Dude, bro. And I was just like, I was just like what it. are I they so doing excited. here? That's what the fuck I said. Like, dude, no, it's just man. Arizona, bro. Yeah, Ari- I always true. say this. Yeah. No one knows this, but Arizona actually really has some the hottest bitches. women. Okay, yeah. so here's a secret, everyone. Like, in California, okay, I get it. There's, there's, I mean, there's you know, there's a blonde yellow chicks. polka dot bikini, whatever yeah. that super song is, so it says, like, the <laughs> shakes yeah. or whatever. Mm. That, that's probably a completely different song. I just butchered that, but yeah. and you know, Miami, okay, every place in the whole world has that's hot women, yeah. okay. Mm. But in Arizona, you could be in a random corner of some random spot in the city. Of, spe- of Phoenix, of Metro Phoenix, especially. Yeah. And everyone's still hot. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's man. crazy. Mm. Like, all the girls, there's so many eights, nines, and tens. Yeah. Of Dude, different types. So many that a few of them have come, you know, hang out with me. That's what, that's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, so many it's that. Funny to go like, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy mm. out here. And that's just a secret for anyone who list, who's come this far. Mm-hmm. All, of, all of our fans, those <laughs> less than for six sure of six of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a secret. Come to Arizona if you want to get laid by hot women on accident. Unless uh, we don't even know how hot they are because they're they're just. 
Dude, what's up oh, with the eyes. Asian girls out here? Like, they only date white guys. What the fuck? I think that's just Asian girls. No, unless they grew up in, like, the hood and, like, Koreatown girls or whatever. Dude, they do. I've never really seen Asian girls or, with black dudes. With black guys? See, what, where I grew up, if you were Asian girl, you only dated black guys, because, I mean, most I know of Asian dudes with some Spanish dudes. They're Spanish really? by see, descent, but they're that. still mostly white. Mostly whitewashed. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. You know. I've dated, with, like, two Asian are. girls, and it's been nothing since then. You know, Anymore when I was younger, life. I was, like, prejudiced mm-hmm. against not going with Asians or Indians, but now I think the opposite. But mm-hmm. only recently have I been like, what am I thinking? Yeah. So, unfortunately, me too. But, I mean, I, I never thought I would hook up with a black chick, and then I did, and it Dude, was, like, completely awesome. I felt, like, super racist, because I don't want to date black chicks. Have you ever hooked up with one? Um, a dark yeah. black chick? Was, uh, she was not that dark. She was, like, a light-skinned black chick, and she was more, like, a skater kind of, you and know. And you didn't like it? No, she was cool. because I liked her because she was so different than the regular black mm-hmm. chicks that I'm used to. Like, mm-hmm. my, you know, family is, like, a, you know, black, and they're, they're typical black people, right. generally speaking. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather make this homie, uh, you know, just because we have this project, I'd way rather prefer... Whatever, we'll talk about that later. I mean, if you prefer to meet this guy than the other guy, man, it's whatever. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's, you know, it's just a birthday thing. I don't want to get into it too much, you know? Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. I think it's okay. Everything cool. Fuck, oh, You're just dude. straightening it, dude? Sorry. Oh, my God. Uh, is it breathing? It's breathing. Yeah, it's just straighten it so it doesn't fall. Like, oh, oh shit, dude! Yeah. Fucking shit, guy. All right. For those, yo, yo, oh sorry, go. Go ahead, go. Whatever. Uh, no, those speakers are pretty crazy, dude. Da Vinci, whatever that means. That's a that's a pretty awesome dude. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, know. Huh? It was pretty funny. I had to swallow all of that. And I was like, whoa. All right, cool. Thanks. It's pretty funny. Ups and downs. Ups and downs, man. That's but it's way. but it's all like it's all drive to get me to like get going, you know. So yeah. fuck it, I'll just take it with a grain of salt and just uh, just hold smash it. it down. Yeah, just hold, hold it, it down. down, work it, work yeah. it, work it, work it. That mm. song Rihanna, that song that I hate. Whatever she, whatever, <laughs> whatever she says, it, work, yeah. work, 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 work. <laughs> whatever she says, work, 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 work. It's a terrible song. I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a terrible song. I, I swear to God, I, I used to think Rihanna's actual music was tight before she was like super hot and she was mm. young, but now I'm like, I don't know, you know. Once everyone likes someone, they get they got to be Michael Jordan for me to be on the bandwagon. Uh, you know, okay, I just yeah. I don't know. Like hmm. I used to not want to like Michael Jordan. I loved him when I was a kid, dude. I used to not want to <clears> be like love him with like everyone else does. So I was like, ah, mm-hmm. oh, Penny Hardaway. But and, then, okay. and then I started watching film, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, fuck <laughs> Penny's bitch ass. Dude, Michael Penny's Jordan nice, man, but Michael's dude. too, too good, nice. His yeah. fundamentals, everything. He's just amazing. Mm. God damn, he's a monster. Well, and then also thinking like the perfect physique for basketball. I mean, he had it. And know. motion. Yeah. Kobe, um, the, the other day, was describing what it was like to guard Jordan. And he's mm. like, I watched film. I've been watching him since I was a kid. He was a player I most wanted to emulate. And wow. I go against him my first game. And first play, he guards me. He does a spin move to a fadeaway jumper. And he's like, I knew he was going to do the move. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, he's like, in person, the timing was, way different. was different. He's like, he's... I knew he was going to do the move, mm. but he spun before I anticipated the move. So I knew wow. he was going to do it, but he's still faster than my mind anticipated it, and the, the ball was in. You don't think how many times he's done that to people, you know? Yeah, Hundreds it's just like insane. It's just like, probably. dude, this guy is just a monster. Mm. Like, just trying to spin as quickly as he does and put up a, a balanced shot. Um, I mean, it doesn't need to be balanced, but to put up a shot that you're controlling all the way... Mm. It's just tough. I mean, he's spinning <coughs> with a hundred percent of his. It's like just force. Yeah, force his speed, and then goes up <laughs> while he's going up, and he's still just and he's quick. It's crazy. He's prime. Oh my god! What he's old. He's quick. Yeah. You, know? you think that dude takes testosterone? Jordan. Yeah. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. Just to fucking sling that dick. I mean, excuse me. It's supposed to help, dude. <laughs> you know, I don't know. If I was old as fuck, I would probably be taken to. School. Oh, you mean now? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, not back then. Obviously, not back then. Like nowadays, you know, I'd say that. No, what he likely. knows. Why would he take testosterone when he could just get an ECH? 
What's oh, what's that? Like a heart thrombo? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but probably because that's like a way worse side effects for you than just natural disaster. Nah, I think it's less so. Really? Wow. Yeah. You would think it'd have some like grotesque side effects or something. Well, human growth hormone just helps you grow testosterone, hmm. makes your body not produce testosterone. Not, not produce it. Hmm. But I think when you're old, you're not producing any anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. I mean, you are producing some, but not to the same extent. So taking more of it doesn't hurt you. I, I think you peak at like thirty, though. I think like your body doesn't hurt when you're mid twenties or something. I yeah, mean, I think something like your early twenties. Yeah, maybe that up to sucks, twenty-four. Dude. I've peaked, bro. I've plateaued. What's that song? Yeah, me too. In high school. When I was your age, I felt the same way, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not true because actually I was coming off the surgery and stuff then and yeah. now I feel stronger than I honestly. I feel I was probably as strong as quick as I did when I was 18 and I still have more work to go. Yeah, dude, yeah. Which is crazy. Bro, the diet is part of it, man. Dude, dude. it's the first time that I've even attempted to be serious about any sort of eating clean Dude, especially when I get my own space again, dude, it's gonna be. I'm gonna go. So, I'm gonna go super militant, man. It's gonna be super good. Oh my god! I cannot wait. I'm looking so forward to just being just eating fucking bowls of broccoli every night. It's gonna be great. Oh my god! <laughs> bowls of broccoli, white chicken breast, and fucking salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's I'm that's what I've been going eating. Gangster, dude. When I'm at the crib, that's what I eat. It's awesome. I yeah. feel so good, dude. It's yeah. I feel powerful after eating. Yeah, but. Then and oh, fucking fuck. fucking crates full of avocado. Dude. What it's is great. what <laughs> is wrong with the world out here, man? Uh, what it's do you so mean? expensive to eat. Oh man. yeah, it's expensive to eat healthy. That's what's fucking crazy about everything, dude. I know. And then like, man, if I could, so this place that I'm getting, man, yeah. I'm probably gonna get a cat. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I That's wanna, fucking left field, dog. What do you? Why do you mean that? You don't I seem love like cats. a cat person. Are you kidding me, dude? I fucking love cats, bro. Okay, what? What? Yeah. Where does this come from? You, uh, you used to have a cat when you were a kid? I've had, like, plenty of cats. So, like, we had Shit. my first, like... You can even push that shit over, man, if you want. No, 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 no. Let me stop doing that. Go ahead, okay. go ahead. I had a big, fat, gray cat named Ganja. That was his name. I was, like, cool 18. Guy. Yeah, yeah. I was, thought it was a funny name. And he'd, I'd be playing video games and shit, and he'd come over and lay on my arm, and he'd rest his nuts, like, right in the crease of my arm. And that's what he would do, and he would just lay there and lick my hand while I'd play video games. It's fucking weird. But uh, he got like to so your first big, gay relationship. First gay relationship was with my cat, right. and uh, he loved me. And then they, we had a his the female but cat you didn't love him back, you're fucking asshole. Dude, I ended up having to leave him when I moved out here. I left him at my grandparents' house, so he had like 14 acres to just run around. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was out there for like five years, and he just disappeared one day. So a coyote probably got him, or you know something, a bobcat, because there's tons of them out there. Fuck. Yeah, probably. where is this at? Uh, California, my hometown. Got you. Yeah, my grandfather's got, dude, he's got a beautiful property. Like, I'm hoping <coughs> he'll sell it and just take the money and do whatever with it because if he doesn't, it, it, the whole family's gonna fight over the property. And none of them can afford to pay the taxes on the property anyway, so there's no fucking point. Mm. It's just, it's gonna be madness. I already know everyone's gonna be fighting over something. But it's a beautiful piece of land, man. It's like, comes up, you go up this fucking dirt hill, and at the very top there's a house, and then you go down below, like down to the bottom, and there's a house, but the bottom is like cut in the side of a fucking mountain, like a giant California rolling hill mountains. So you have this beautiful fucking view, dude, of just everything out this side, and behind you you have like privacy. It's fucking sick, man. It's a beauty. There's fucking deer, bobcat, coyotes, everything that goes through there. We've seen fucking bears out there before. Damn. Like a California bear, yeah. He was a little, he was small, but he they probably didn't want to fuck with him. But the dogs, we you know we had a lot of dogs. They would bark and scare him off. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's a beautiful piece of land. Bunch of like fruit trees out there. He's got a fucking garden. Damn. Yeah. How long do you think the bear would just stick around? Probably we saw him for like a couple weeks, and then either someone shot him, which I'm fairly certain that's what happened. Damn. Yeah, someone probably shot him dead. And we have like a lot of people around there, which I mean, you know, they got dogs, they got kids. It makes sense. Yeah. 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 Do you so, think they ate it? No, probably not. I heard bears okay to eat. I hear bear is delicious also, and it was probably a bear that was eating a lot of, like, uh, like berries and shit like that. I don't know what bears in California eat, but it wasn't a lot of fish, and I hear that's what makes them really gamey, is if they're eating a lot of fish. Mm. So he was probably delicious, but I doubt that they ate him. I don't mind gamey meat. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't mind it if it's, long, it's, it's not, not like fish gamey. Like, I wouldn't eat an animal that eats fish, because uh, to me that just is too gamey. Damn, what if it's just bomb, though? <laughs> what if it's just bomb, though? But I've had, like, a... Uh, You've know. had fish bear? No, but I've had <laughs> like uh, game and meat before, and it was just too, too, too much, man. It was just a like soury kind of taste I didn't like. But I wonder if people don't like gamey meat because they think that's what dick tastes like. 
I've never tasted dick, so I don't know. I wonder if girls like gaby meat and because it tastes like, like dick. It. I don't. I don't know. Do you think girls like? There's some definitely some girls who love to taste dick, but yeah, I, don't think I think most there girls are. don't do it. Like don't like it. But, really? Mm, yeah, I think they don't. They probably don't mind it because I've never had a girlfriend who didn't suck dick. But <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I mean, I haven't had very many girlfriends in that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, me yeah. too. I've only had one real girlfriend, but I, yeah. pretty much every every chick sucks dick. Yeah, yeah. I've had a few chicks suck my dick that weren't my girlfriend. Well, I mean, so. some chicks don't. <laughs> But then when when the chicks don't, I think that something something weird is going on. Oh, Even they though they were, like, touched as a to. child or something, that's what I always think. What's that? When a girl is like super awkward about sex, I just assume that they've been like you know touched as a child or something. Mm. But then I've dated or religious girls, maybe or religious. I see. I don't date religious people, but I've dated girls who've like gone through that kind of shit, and uh, they're definitely you know a lot. They're definitely weird about their body. Yeah, they can go one way or the other. They can go mm. weird or, like, like super, super accepting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Craziness. Yes, I mean... Hmm. It is fucking craziness. Yeah. But, uh... Um, so, yeah. you like cats? <laughs> so, I like cats? Oh, yeah, dude. Cats are cool. Yeah, I have a... Uh, we had... I've had a few cats over the years, man, but... Yeah, they're... They're cool because, like, they want to hang out when they want to hang out. Or, uh, you know, when they're kittens, they're just fucking cute, man. They're little fucking fur balls and just crazy energy that they just fucking run around all day. It's adorable. Yeah, that's sort of true. Mm. But they have <laughs> super sharp claws. I love it, dude. I don't know. I love fucking with cats, man. And they get you, and you fucking, you know, they finally get you in this big cut in your hand, you're just like, fuck, dude, they got me. But Damn. So you get when you're fucking with them, though. That's what you like. Uh, I don't like that, but you know what I mean? Like, when you're playing with them and they finally fucking get you, you're like, damn, you got me, but... You said you liked it. <laughs> I don't know. I, you guess, it. I don't know what that means. Uh, like, I, nah, I don't know. It's sort of interesting, dude. Is that what cat owners like? That they like being sliced? Because I know they're all getting sliced <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if they like being sliced, but I just meant like how playful they are, like how aggressive cats get, man. Like they're they're still wild beasts, but they're somehow controlled. You know, they're somehow tame a little bit. You know. They're tame oh, they're because small. you're bigger. Yeah, hundred percent. That's what it is. They're just smaller. They're tame than because you're bigger and you fed them. Mm-hmm. But you know what they say? A lot of times, when people die and they have cats, they come in and their face is eaten. That's crazy. I believe it's it. Like a delicate meat or some <laughs> shit. Your face meat. Let me, oh, let me just get in here God, and eat your face meat. God that's gross. Damn it. But I mean, you're dead. He you should eat your face. Fuck it. You need to survive. They probably, you know, weren't fed for a couple of days. Think about it. You're dead for a few days. Yeah. The cat's getting hungry. You got no food. I feel like these feelings that I have are, like, <laughs> intrinsically religious, even though they're not <coughs> religious. You know? Like, I feel mm-hmm. like I'm, like, scared or disgusted by... By cats eating your face? But is that... After I'm dead. Like, what does it matter? Mm-hmm. But because that, it's But like I'm just, like, shaking my head about it. Like, face. it's bothering me. What's up? So you just don't want your body to be, like, defaced, literally? Or... I just I'm, I th- I think I'm thinking about anyone who potentially that I know who could see me, mm-hmm. and okay. not and just just like disturbing them, mm. you know. Like I'm already gone. They know that I couldn't do anything about it, but yeah, it's just like it's kind of crazy. They see homie without the face, like damn, dude. I uh, I had a very good you friend. Know, if I saw homie without a face, I'd be like, damn. Go ahead, my bad. No, you're fine. I've never seen anyone without a face, but. I had a good friend. I see Nicholas Cage without a face. Yeah, his face. <laughs> uh, you know, I had a friend who killed herself, and you know, me yeah. and her brother came home. We went to her house to stop by just to say hello, and you know, we saw her on the couch, you know, dead with like big ass razor blade slits. Oh, going. she cut herself. She fucking, she, she did it. She successfully cut herself <clears throat> and died. And died. That's. I don't know how if that's not rare or rare, but. I've met cutters she, who were just like looking for attention and stuff, but never nah. one who she she did a lot themselves. of drugs, man. She was like just all fucked up. Ah, she shit. Still, like, so she was in, <clears throat> she was in it to kill herself right there. Yeah, and she still like I stayed with her for a few weeks once, and uh, my mom like kicked me out or whatever. And so I was like sixteen, seventeen, stayed with her for a few 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 weeks. Yeah, and uh, she would bring guys home from like the bar or wherever that had drugs, and like she'd let them have sex with her so she can get the drugs. The drugs, yeah, yeah. And a couple times, like dudes got crazy. We were pushing on her and shit, so I had to like kick people out. It was just crazy, man. It was all drama, and then I hadn't seen her in like a month. And we stopped by just to say hello and trip out. She was fucking dead on the couch. I was like, "Wow, dude." I know a couple of chicks who did that. I knew this mm. one chick who died of OD. 
Dude, like man, or like gangster parties. Like I had friends, I've had friends, dude, who go to fucking, gang, you know, they go to house parties that are deep in the hood. Yeah. Yep, and like they're having a party, someone will like look over the fence. I've told you this before. Someone will look over the fence and be like, you know, fucking whatever set I'm from or whatever. And someone at the party said, yeah, go fuck yourself. And he fucking pulled an Uzi over the wall and just started spraying people, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fucking crazy. So I had a homie and his sister who lost their lives like that night. Damn. It's crazy, man, but shit like that happens all the time. It's just, uh. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Yeah, that shit sort of, I mean, I think I told you, I've been at a party where it got shot up. I've been at yeah. a couple parties where shots were fired, but I've been at one where, like, bullets were flying through the crowd. Like, the, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Did you ever see, like, people get hit? I don't know how the fuck we can get hit or anything. The race of the universe. Yeah, like, the dude was, like, they got kicked out. Classic, this is what happens in Phoenix. Like, they get, people get kicked out of parties, mm. and they come back and shoot at the party. Yeah, they're people that are just hanging out with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so they'll just this fool just came back and stuck his gun through the it, entrance of the backyard, like Fuck the you. gate, and just shot like I don't know. I didn't count the, the amount of shots. Probably less than ten. Well, more than three. Yeah, that's enough. That's and more than there's people one getting shot hit. Is, like yeah. I remember this person that got hit and just seeing like the blood Whoa. hit, like they come yeah. out the. The pieces are wearing whites. Yeah. So I didn't see the hole, but it was just like, it's dark, you know? And then just the red, I'm like, oh, fuck. That's scary, man. You know? Like, yeah, that's, that's like reality. Pro- I don't know if they got grazed, <coughs> if they got actually hit, or if, what the fuck happened. Hmm. We just had the shots go, and then we just all grabbed each other like this. <laughs> yeah. And Holy Ghost, goes, everyone could. Yeah. And we just did it. We were honestly like hundreds of avenue streets away from our area wow. you know we're just That's like scary, dude man. we're so fucking deep we don't even know what the fuck and we're like just fucking i've been shot 15, at 16. only one time well okay apparently i got shot at when i was a baby my mother was like uh driving around in like the hood part of our town and Damn. she ran into some people that didn't like her so they shot at the car mm. and they found the bullet round in the car seat the mm. next day and i guess it had like gone through the first layer and it just stopped right behind the mesh <laughs> yeah yeah so i'd have been a dead baby you know trip out uh, Damn. And then once when I was older, we went to go buy weed from some dude, and he didn't like the color shirt my friend was wearing, so he shot at us. But I don't know if he was actually trying to hit us or just scare us, but he shot like two or three times, and mm. it scared the shit out of me, and we were running. But <laughs> but yeah, it was just a big ordeal. But I've so never my, seen anyone shot now. My homie... Um, my homie... So... There was this dude I was beefing with. I don't know if I said this story yet, but there was this dude I was beefing with. Well, I was sort of beefing with their crew, but it, it died down. One of his homies, like, we're homies now. Yeah. But um, this one dude, he was, like, the main drug dealing dude out of these dudes, like, the only businessman dude out of these, like, group of criminals. The rest were just, like, fighters and just partiers, right? Yeah. And, um, but he wasn't. But... The way that almost all of us would react when guns got pulled on us. And I, this, I never got a gun pointed. Well, have I? Let me think. I've never had a loaded gun pointed at me, but I've had I, people. Once I was. Bl- guns I, I've been told once when I was blacked out I had a gun pointed at me. That's scary, man. But, uh. Yeah, I don't even remember it. But, um. When. The thing was, because we all knew people who got guns pointed at them. Because kids would roll with guns sometimes. Mm. When someone pulled a gun on you, you just you just it disrespect them. It's a nothing because mm. they're not going to pull the trigger. You feel me? Oh, I see. Because most of them yeah. know the the consequences, the, the consequences kind of or they don't want to get caught with their parents' gun or whatever. It's not uh, their gun. Wow. It's not like that. Like everyone's still living with their parents. They're yeah. just running around, sort of wild, doing just little wild shit on the side, drugs and shit. You know. Mm. So. Yeah. You know, my homie, I stayed at his house a lot when I was in high school. One of my two homies I did that with. Um, my homie, he's like a successful lawyer now. But this started a whole bunch of issues for him. They're at a party right after we graduated. Wow. And, um, you know, everyone's out of school. And an issue happens. And on the way out, this dude... Um, my homie's best friend pretty much at the time but I was sort of I, I, me and him didn't have good feelings about each other even though the, we were beefing we just never knew each other vibed right I mean uh, yeah we just never vibed right like 
I was super anti weed. He was pushing weed. You know uh, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Um, because when I was young, I was just like thinking drugs and weed, especially just any anything that I could smoke would like kill me. You know, mm. um, completely opposite of what I am now. <laughs> but no way, man. We don't smoke that shit. <laughs> anyway, so he um, he gets a gun drawn on him for whatever reason. It's wild. And he tells homie. To what, what what are you going to do with it? Just like we always would. Just like everyone we know would have. That's the only response that we know. Mm. You know? Because we're not going to bitch out. And You fucking point a gun at me, man. You can pretty much have whatever. Well, I mean, now, but then, <laughs> then, <laughs> then I mean, you're invincible when you're a kid, you know? Yeah. Nothing bad has happened to you. Um, just, I don't want to. All right, all right. Um, and, uh, yeah. He fucking, um, he says, what, what are you going to do with it? And so these are what happens from my homie's recollection who's there to see it. Because the parties happen in the backyard. Yeah. And there's always that, that fence doorway, which uh. is the primary access, which often is the way that we use <laughs> it to entryway for almost all the parties. This is how the houses over there in North Phoenix are. Right. That area. So the, the dude... Um, my homie's best friend and the dude who he's beefing with, like, the gun that gets pulled out of him is in the front yard, apparently. Oh, wow. And my homie's walking out. Yeah. And he sees it, and he's about, like, five, ten feet away, and he sees his homie say, you know, what what, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do with that, you punk bitch? And the dude just looks at him, looks at my homie. And just looks back at him and shoots him in the fucking face with wow. a thirty eight. Wow. So, homie was dead in less than five seconds. Wow. So, homie ran, but the bullet hits him right here, right under the eye. Yeah. So, it, like, broke all of the bones in his shit and went into his brain, and he died on the spot right wow. in front of my homie. Wow. And the dude that ran away is connected. Yeah. In some form or fashion, and he just dipped, right? Yeah. And no one ever saw from him again. Police are getting statements from my <clears throat> homie who, while we're running around in the street, he's not. His family is, like, on the richer side. He's planning on being a successful dude. Wow. And they graduate, and he sees this happen. And so this was the guy, the guy who shot the other dude, he was beefing with the guy who shot the dude before this? Or they weren't? Sorry, don't know. Like, don't know anything about uh, their okay. relationship before. They just happened to get into something then. It could have uh, been just on the spot. In all honesty, I think that they're wow. all cool, yeah. and it's just one of the classic situations or some shit. Gets out of hand. And then yeah. it just got out of hand. Um, and that's so, unfortunate, man. It's yeah. fucking crazy. So what? This gets even crazier, and mm-hmm. then it starts to involve. Doesn't involve me, but I get pulled into a situation later in another country because of this shit. <laughs> so this fucking happens, and my homie has to deal with that. He's the only witness. Right. Okay. Yeah. Dude's connected. He's getting death threats. And he he's about to go to college. So he goes to college in another state. Mm-hmm. He goes to a completely different coast and then moves around. None of our friends know where he's at. Only a couple of us know where he's at. Wow. Because of the, you know, we're, we're, we're clean. All the criminal friends, yeah. the, the that side that he was running with, he they didn't know where the fuck he was. So did this dude, so did he still receive death threats after all of that? Like, well... So... Because we're the only ones chilling with him, he's doing school, he's trying to forget about this shit, you know, I'm still sci- a complete psycho, so I didn't fully empathize with everything that was happening, mm. you know, I didn't be like, damn, he saw a murder, that's a major thing in your it's life, that's never, crazy, no one goes through that, <coughs> especially yeah. if you're homie right in front of you, dude, yeah. and you're going through this shit, you know, mm. like, you know, now I understand, but, and it, and it definitely, you know, makes him who he, who he is today, um, you know homie is a good homie like I just saw him and he like told his business partner that I was the smartest dude that he ever knew wow. ever met that's how low I've, that's how far I've fallen from the top doggy from where <laughs> people you thought I was gonna be no 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 I'm better off here dog I'm better off here I'm which way stronger doing what I want I'm doing yeah. what I want making yeah. people sad you know <laughs> making people sad no 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 uh, but he uh oh shit breaking all my new shit bro. sorry dude get it together, hey, man. Man. fuck man <laughs> <laughs> I need to make more room that's my bad I thought about it too but you're good you're good yeah anyway he so we kept in touch with him 
um, and we go to Mexico sometimes, mm. or we went to Mexico a bunch of times, and we went decided to go to Mexico for one of our spring breaks, and so we go, and this is like early in my smoking career, wow. and we go, the car breaks down on the way to Mexico within 40 it's miles of the city, yeah. we still decide we're going to go, we get <laughs> the car towed back, we hit this, we hit up this bus that's like cruising to Rocky Point with all just like Mexicans in it getting it's a shuttle Yeah. so we ride the shuttle while the kids are talking shit to us we all understand Spanish because yeah. we're in advanced school so yeah. we can speak Spanish they're talking shit to us we just have to eat it and Cause, like because yeah. we're just surrounded by their family we understand and yeah. so we're six hours just getting shit talk, shit. shit talked to well, us. Wow, Rod have been talking kid. shit too, though. That's no, crazy. No, I mean, but I was, you know, I, I was I might get away with it. I'm for me, I'm out of the brown. house, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't even care. Yeah. We get there, no <laughs> ride, no nothing, right? Mm. We figure out a place there, because before, now we're in Mexico, we go stay in resorts. I go with a completely different crew, but back then, we just figure out when we get there. Everything's spontaneous, just completely crazy. Um, this might have been even pre cell phone times. And. Wow. Um, no, nah, I think we had cell these then, but they didn't. They definitely didn't work. And so we <laughs> we in Mexico. Mexico, yeah. And so we we go to this bar, we get some drinks, and we starting to see people. Like we're known, like we know a lot of people, and wow. a lot of people, in the group of schools that were that surrounded us. Um, in North Phoenix, came out to Mexico for vacation. Wow. So we see a homie. We send each other shots. He sends us shots like a gentleman, like an asshole. We send him a shot of just hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Sorry, sorry, Santino, my nigga. I'm so sorry. He ends up having like a crazy, like <laughs> not a convulsion, but just you know, the like I can take the heat. He definitely can. So wow. we end up throwing him a bunch of drinks, but he had to deal with that after. And then we left, and as we're leaving this bar, sort of toss and stuff, we run into best friends of that dude who's wanted for Whoa, the that's weird. This is a couple years after the shit, and no yeah. one's where he is. And, and your boy is there? The dude from... Yeah, my uh, boy's yeah. there who witnessed it. Yeah. His cousin, who's a nobody in terms of fighting, and mm-hmm. me, and like, I don't know shit, but I mean, I'll, I'll get a Fucking fight drumming, in, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, um, oh... This story gets good. I completely forgot. So, they're like, "You, you guys are gonna be six feet dead underground." That's what the they're telling the you. That's what they're telling us, and they're rolling like eighteen though. deep, and yeah. we're three deep. Yeah. So they dip because it's broad daylight, mm. and they're like we'll fucking find you, and we're just talking shit. Wow. And we we take like another couple steps. Ed, the, his our our old crew, we run into the old crew of criminals. Wow. Those are the same homies of, so like. I was loosely affiliated with them somewhat, Just but keep, keep I was up. cool with a lot of them mm. because a lot of my homies were with them, and so I was already cool with this part of that crew, even though, like I said, I was beefing with the drug dealer dude. Yeah. I was only beefing with a couple of them, and they'd mostly dropped it. So the rest of them, we ran into them, and they were close friends with homie who got shot. So, wow. even though we're smaller than them, now we have, like, seven or eight dudes yeah. who are ready to scrap, right? That's crazy. And so we just keep partying. We're just drinking out of, like, 30 packs, whatever. We're like, we'll see him, whatever. And yeah. I'm not really stressing it too bad, which is right, crazy. you can. You start overthinking it. We go to Baja. If anyone's scary. been to Rocky Point, they'll know what Baja is. It's a three-story club. It's wow. a three-story club. And we're just on these stories and shit, doing the damn thing. We're on the third story at first with, by the DJ, and then we just keep moving out. And then we're on the second story, and boom, we get jumped by uh, <laughs> wow. the whole crew. Wow. And yeah. the thing is, as a as a sort of outsider to the to the um, like, I didn't chill always with these dudes. Yeah, these dudes didn't. Re- they only recognized me from this trip. Wow, you know what I'm saying? So they didn't recognize me from anything else. But they knew that we were all together, so they jumped all of us. Wow. But I was able to get my homie who didn't fight too much. Like, he was he was still throwing, right? Mm. And, dude, we're getting in this fight. I, like, my first move, I knock out one dude as he's coming to me. Like, he's rushing, actually, skinny dude, right? Yeah. I, not, I just oh. punch him out. Yeah. And the other dude's coming to me. I mush him, punch him in the solo places, classic thing, right? Yeah. And I 
push and throw him over the second story. Whoa, fuck that. He fell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he fell. I, did, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I pushed him off the balcony, he yeah, fell. <laughs> hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's not dead, you know? Yeah. But yeah. You, know, you guys fucking, that's, you know, they they threatened us, telling us that we we're going to be dead. So well, I mean, at that I was, point, so, I was ready I to this point. I was like, if yeah. anything pops off, mm-hmm. I'm fighting as if we're going to die. Gonna die. Yeah. But, but that's fair. That though. shit pops off. I punch maybe one or two one of the people just like I don't even know what happened like just punch on the way out yeah and it's always a mess and we we get out and mm-hmm. somehow we meet up and no one's really hurt I guess wow. uh, someone produced a knife but it was not even an issue I guess wow. and we just keep partying and so dude. nothing ended up happening thank God yeah um dude I've seen fools like get stabbed up at parties but dude. But I've never seen, like, uh, I've never, like, been really worried about losing my life, my personal life. But I might be at a party and be like, yo, it's time for you to leave because these guys are really not liking you. They were rolling so deep. Mm. And we were lucky to run into these, like, yeah. other seven. A little bit back. Like, the way that I counted them, because I counted them as I dipped after a first altercation in the street. It was an altercation, just like a shouting match, pretty much. Wow. I sort of stayed in the back. Mm. But, you know, I was talking to shows and let my homie because it was just 18 on three. But when they left, I was like, damn, how many people will we each have to knock out? Like, I was always, like, the math guy. I don't know so if I'm you like, can win that. But no, we're not going to yeah, win. Yeah. But, but that's uh, when you just go as hard when as you we, can. Yeah, when we general. ran into these dudes, we told them exactly what happened so they knew what was cracking. And they knew it was they, these Pretty guys serious. related to the dude that shot uh, up our homie. And yeah. so... They're, just, ready yeah, they're ready for war. They're ready for war. So That's when crazy. it fucking happened, like, mm. homies were sort of ready. I think there's a lot of bottle smashing. Dude, you know? I've seen some pretty nasty shit like that. People getting, like, big old gouges in their foreheads, dude. Dude, like, I don't know. Blood. Dude, to gross. be honest, none of us ever discussed how bad we fucked people up. I just told him, I was like, yo, I threw someone off the second story. <laughs> I was like, we gotta go. Allegedly, we're, we're he really Because the main thing was to not go to jail. Yeah, For especially me, in Mexico. I'm, That's like, what I'm I was trying to survive. You. Well, and get out. That's what I said. Man. I knocked the dude out. I yeah. threw homie just over. Out. And then I grabbed homie. And we just sort of like, Left. whatever was happening. Hopefully we didn't... I don't even know. Like, I, we just punched some people. Wow. Getting out. Yeah, just they could have been girl. some fool. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting there with his girl drinking his beer and he gets punched. I mean, they face. were... They looked aggressive. <laughs> but I was like, I ain't fucking handling this yeah, shit. Yeah. You know? I feel you. They looked white and they looked aggressive. So it's I was like, fucking, you eating one of these. Yeah, you're in the way right now. Dude, I mean... The fight, like, it was probably, like, a 20-person fight. Like, it That's stopped crazy. everything in the club. Like, the music was probably going, but everyone on that floor scattered. I've never been a part of a brawl like that, but I've been in, like... Dude, I've seen bigger sh- brawls, bro. Dude, I've seen yeah. fucking brawls where fucking, like... I've seen frat A whole, parties, whole know, like, 50 on 50 brawls between schools. That's crazy. Type shit, or 100 uh, on, like, 50. We've had that. So, when, when I was growing up in high school, our football team was, like, hated by everyone. So, we had these, like, neighboring schools that would come down and play us. And they were all, like, gang-infested, like, uh, areas, right? So, they would come down. And these are, like, kids. You know, the dudes I hung out with, the dudes from our football team were, like, country kind of dirt bike, redneck kind of dudes. Mm-hmm. And now they had to deal with these like you know Huron bulldogs or whatever you know, so they would come down and we would they would fight in the locker room a lot, just and it would literally be one football team versus another one, not because of the football game or whatever. It was just because they didn't like white kids or mm-hmm. whatever. It was just stupid. But uh, I guess I've seen shit like that, but I've never seen a uh, like a fucking you know. Army. Yeah, the big one I've seen. I mean, I'm guessing it was 150. It was probably more like 70 crazy. on 50 or. Or like fifty on forty. At that point, they should just give everyone a sword and a fucking shield, man. It's Remember, I think I told you, like shit. it was over this girl. Mm. I just no. got, it ended up being like shit talking remember because starting initially. When there. I first started hanging out with you, sorry to cut you off, but when I first started hanging out with you, remember there was a guy who was like ducking another dude because he got shot at by the dude for talking to some chick or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah How yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. was the dude the, 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 that I met? Seemed pretty fucking cool. He seemed pretty reasonable, but. Yeah, okay, so this story is pretty crazy. So, like, in the middle of Tempe, <laughs> one of my homies was at this thing, and this girl, like, I knew these two dudes from two different things, which was crazy, too. So the, you so you're friendly with both of them, yeah? Or I more? was more friendly with the dude who got shot at, yeah. but the dude who shot was a co-worker of another friend of mine, and wow. also I knew them in some other capacity, either, like, some chick I was trying to, like... Some chick was trying to fuck was like your friend. Whatever. I don't remember exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he he was like the original boyfriend of this chick, but she was fucking my homie who wow. got shot at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and you know that caused this issue between yeah. these two light skinned dudes. Yeah, and, they were both. Yeah, I didn't mean to. You know, that. but I was heading towards the party, and then I got the call that that should happen. I was like, I ain't fucking going. Or mm-hmm. oh no, I got invited, but I was like, I'm not going. And then I heard that, and I was like, for sure. That's yeah, because you. I remember you telling me that like, oh, that's funny. You were like thinking of how crazy that is that you decided not to go, and then that should happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's the. the Shit like that is I mean, like, expected, maybe? Oh, man, I don't even know how many charges that dude ended up getting. The shot, like, oh, homie pulled up. up. Yeah, homie pulled the like, gun up at him, I guess. Yeah. And one of our other homies said something about it. So when the gun got pulled up, my other homie, who the gun was getting pointed at, pushed the... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, he pushed the thing down while some other chicks were sort of grabbing at the dude, and the wow. shot went off on the ground. Wow, he's lucky. Yeah, like, I don't know if he was trying to shoot him. Maybe he oh, was. Uh, maybe he wasn't, though. Maybe but he had a finger on the trigger, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's if really If you have stupid. a finger on the trigger, you're pretty much ready to shoot. Well, yeah. So the shot went off, and then it was just all hell, all hell broke loose, because it was like a... Broke loose, excuse me, because it was like a campus housing, pretty much. Wow. Or close to campus housing. It was right next to the Indian grocery store that my dad used to own, which Whoa. was my first job. Wow. It was, dude, it was right across the street from the, the cops, actually. There's a police station right <laughs> across the, the street. That's Literally a hundred feet from there. So, the, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, oh, he ran to, homie who put the shot off ran to McDonald's. Whoa. And was all like... Tripping out? Like... The cops had to hunt him down at McDonald's. Oh, so they, that's they found he him ran that like night, dude. Wow, I thought no, no, I think that, oh, like okay. maybe like a half hour later, but he did. Wow, and went to McDonald's and was like sort of just like tripping. Yo, out. let me get that last Big Mac before they lock me up real quick. Shit, <laughs> and the weirdest thing is, I saw him uh, working because he worked at the fucking bar and mill. Mm. I saw him working like just a fucking little bit after. So yeah, he probably got like an aggravated assault charge or something. Or yeah, he might have even got off. You know, who knows? Yeah, that's true. Out here, I mean, no, he probably did get at. He probably got brandishing a firearm. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. He's so lucky that shot didn't hit anyone because he would be in jail for sure. Dude, when I was growing up, man, there used to be like race wars between the black kids and the Mexican kids. So like, <clears throat> the black kids would beat the shit out of these Mexican kids until finally the Mexican kids got smart and started bringing in like their older cousins and brothers and all that shit. Yeah. So their older cousins and brothers would come down to the school after school and they beat the shit out of all these black kids. So I might have told this story before. And so one of the black kids brought a gun because he started getting his ass beat. And he fucking pulled it out. And in the panic, it fucking, he dropped it and it went off. And he's lucky it didn't kill anybody. The dude was like a real young dude. We were both only like 14 years old. You know? Yeah, 12, 13, 14, Life somewhere in there. there. Dude, that's what I'm saying. And he got lucky a few years. He came back and he was like totally reformed into a, just a, a really smart, educated young man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, the, the good outcome for that guy. Oh, yeah, man. that's but, not always a good word. No. Especially but yeah. for the unlucky ones where the bullet hits, because I'm sure that's his life would have just been fucked, dude. Yeah, his life would have been fucked. But you know, I almost can't. Like, it's almost like, what was he to do, man? He was getting his shit kicked in every day after school. Um, that's what starts with most people. Like, a lot of shootings happen because the person is the recipient of violence, mm-hmm. and they're they're holding the gun to fucking to try to control himself. the situation. And that's it. Was just sheer panic, man. And I think I don't remember like if someone like hit it out of his hands or it was just a it was a group of fucking people like a hundred Mexicans and like five black kids sprinkled in the middle and they were just getting swarmed and he fucking pulled it out somehow it hit the ground went off everyone ducked it was fucking it was so crazy dude I just never would have imagined that that shit would have happened you know Man. but I guess I should have they were beating the shit out of each other for like months there's this uh, I'd say like a, I guess I'd call him media personality he's a street dude too though mm. named Tax Stone and he was talking about how when he used to bully dudes on the street, there's this dude he was just bullying, and, you know, for whatever reason, this last time, he's, like, comes up to him, and he had bullied him the day before, like, spit on him in front of his mom, and he's like, oh, I didn't wow. even realize that it was his mom, right? Right. Um, sort of felt bad about it, but he's, you know, doing his damn thing on the street, so he's not gonna fucking... Go apologize. Yeah, go apologize. <laughs> but yeah. he yeah. fucking went up to the dude, he still had an issue went from behind him and like started getting him in a rear naked choke Mm -hmm. and uh dude pulled out a gun when he's in the choke didn't even see it and fucking shot him temple yeah he lost his eye the the gunpowder burned his retina so he can't see out of it 
Wow. And he's lucky because a bullet just like went out through here, like the spot where there's no like brain, but just like Fuck. bones. Probably just broke everything in there. No, it didn't even like wow. it slid under. Like he got lucky, but apparently like hit enough shit. Like his dick wasn't working for like two months. Then, like, <laughs> oh, the fuck, dude. just kill me, bro. But yeah, yeah. so <laughs> so yeah, he's blind out of one eye and all that. But like yeah. he was even saying, he's like, even though he's like, if I see that dude, I'm fucking kill that guy. But he's like. To be honest, he's like, that's why I tell people not to bully because you never bullying know is like h- how the shit will switch up on you because mm-hmm. you're just like constantly fucking bringing these people to a place where they have to defend themselves. Dude, I know a girl who, when we were kids, she just disappeared from school for a while and then she came back like a year later mm-hmm. and apparently she was like going through her grandma's like candy drawer and there was a fucking pistol in there and she picked it up and it went off and it shot her in the head. So, oh, like, she died? No, she didn't die. So, like, every... Well, she may be dead now because apparently, like, every, like, few months she had to go in and they wanted to see how much the bullet was traveling because it was moving still in her brain. So, oh. it, like, yeah. So, it might have turned her into a vegetable. It might have killed her. She might be still alive. But they She shot herself, though. She shot herself. And, see, they couldn't get the bullet out. So. This has become a gun episode. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, we need stricter gun laws, man. You know what's funny is I was talking about that with someone online the other day. There's a dude from Australia. Um... And he was just talking about how hard it is to get a gun out there, and, like, he's jealous of Americans, how we can just get guns. And I'm like, it's not necessarily a good thing, man. Like, he was telling me the statistics on how, you know, often they have gun violence. It's very small um, as compared to American Mm -hmm. gun violence. But so, you know, we were talking about an argument whatever, but I was like, I don't know, man. I think that they need to do, like, mental evaluations of people um, also, not just a background check. You need to sit down with someone who's going to ask you a bunch of fucking questions and... I think maybe they just need to make mental evaluations with just people in general. Well, that's true. But, I mean, there's just too many people. There's too many people to evaluate everyone. And no one's going to want that job, you know? that the, By the time that we're done, we're going to get just half-assed evaluations. That's true. That's true. But uh, i got to take a piss. <laughs> okay. Well, yo, let's... Uh, we'll cut this one off for right now. Okay. Um, at the end of... Uh, guns should come with... Uh, more strict laws, Psy- maybe. Psy- psychiatric like, evaluations. Psychiatric evaluations. <laughs> psychiatric. Kind of. I don't know why I left. It's sort of... A, I, it's understandable. I mean, I like guns. We but. wouldn't if people weren't so fucking crazy. But I like guns, too, man. There's like, there's probably like five I would love to have, and I would love shooting and all of that. But uh, I don't know. I just There's too many crazy people with guns. Yeah. thing is, a lot of times there's very very few signs of how crazy they are until they get the gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, You know, true. it's tough. Like, I mean... I mean, like, people get through all sorts of psychiatric evaluations. But think how many people, if, like, you would have just sat down and asked the dude a question, you could have realized, like, oh, I don't want to sell this guy a gun, just from talking. Like, the guy the, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. that I had orientation with, like, that's a guy who I don't think should have a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. I know this other dude, I mean, he's a good guy, but just the way that he is, mm. um, I just think he's too careless to even have a gun. Like, dude. you don't even have to be fucking... Stupid. Yeah, you, you can just be stupid oh, yeah, or careless yeah. or yeah. just quick to pull... Quick to feel threatened, yeah. Dude, I've never felt that threatened where I feel like I need that much of an equalizer. Yeah, I know, but, but I feel like some people, yeah. like, like I hear them say stories and they're carrying and they'll be like, oh man, if this guy, he like, did this or started tripping out, I'll just pull my gun on I'm like, whoa, bro. Mm. That's, how that That's how that guy is. That's how that guy is that I had an orientation. He, but he's like that with fighting. Like, he... He thinks he's some kind of badass, dude. Like, he'd just fuck anybody up. And he's got he's had, like, major back surgery, so they cut up his stomach, they cut up his back, Whoa. and put in, like, fake bones and shit. So it's like, dude, you're you're fragile and frail at this point, and you need to just relax. And he still thinks he's, you know, Superman, or whatever. Maybe he is. Maybe his back is stronger and better than it's ever been. But I, I just have a feeling, like, that dude uh, would get whooped up real quick by a lot of people. Um, but I think his tactic is coming out of nowhere and like spearing you, tackling you to the ground, and you not knowing what's going on, and he's overwhelming you. But yeah, he's talking about your coworker. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, hopefully, I won't have to work with him. Oh, he's, he's, he might be a cool dude. No, he works there. He oh. might be a cool dude. I just don't know. Um, you know, I just don't. I just don't like that kind of person, man. Who's always bragging about how much of a fighter he is, or how much of a badass he is. How he, you know, he likes to tell a lot of stories about how he's fucked people up and like. You know, that's my job. That's what they paid me to do. Like, he, he, like, brags about... Almost everybody, what they are on the outside to everyone is the opposite of what they are on the inside. I think he really believes that shit, though. You're right, but I think he fully believes that shit. I think he really thinks he's a badass. But I was, but the funny thing is, like, I was thinking, I was like, wait, I was, the whole time he's telling me this shit, I'm smoking a cigarette, we're all smoking a cigarette, and we're kind of, you know, listening, and his wife is, like, super embarrassed by this, so she's not even paying him any, any mind. Wife? Yeah, his wife also works there too. They oh, both got hired at the same time. 
the it's he's just married weirdness. and he's talking like this crazy right and so and he's an older dude too so it's like he's telling me all this and I'm just like thinking to myself like dude wait until someone that knows what they're doing like you know puts their hands on you because it's gonna go way different than you thought I think he's just never been beat up um, and he's lucky because the way he talks and the way he acts and then like we were walking and he was saying some racist shit about Mexicans and he said it all loud and I'm just like how why did they hire this guy like this guy is putting up all kinds of red flags and like you shouldn't hire this fucking person but it's one <clears throat> yeah it's fucking awkward <clears throat> I was about to say something oh uh, uh, what do you mean I was like about to say the name on accident oh of the guy no, of the uh, the the big box store that you work at. Oh yeah, don't say that. But yeah, I mean, you're no, right. I was about to. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But I, I mean, <laughs> but that's the kind of people that they hire, right? I guess. But everyone else seems so cool and mellow and just relaxed. That's why I like it because the atmosphere is just yeah, way yeah. more relaxed. Except for this dude, he's just so like you know, so such a different maybe person. Maybe it's Roy's dude. I don't know if it's maybe, but I just I, I don't nah, think it's that. Tell this yeah, it was different. Yeah, and he looks like he's a strong dude. He looks like he's in shape, but he's not. You know, but you, he's never he's not told me anyway about any past like martial arts experience or anything like that. Maybe he just knows how to throw a few fists, and that's cool. But again, when you when you, when someone like if you put your hands on someone who knows really how to do the damn thing, it's going to be totally different. And I think okay. he needs that eye opening experience. I just feel like people who talk about fighting or hurting people, they don't. They don't really know what they're doing. Well, because if you've has. done it or you've been around it, you yeah. just like it's it's first of all it's you less exciting it. and yeah. it's like yeah it, exactly because yeah. no anyone they talk about beef or fighting or getting into it you just haven't got into it enough if mm. you're talking like that because dude, you haven't fighting. seen people get hurt like they do in those situations. <laughs> dude, Shut your fucking mouth. You've never seen anyone hit their face in the ground and like instantly start snoring because they're knocked down. Their face is fucking yeah. banging all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. fucking crazy. It's fucking... I, I mean, but, I, had, I, don't, I don't even think I've seen someone knocked out like that, but I've seen people <laughs> fucking knocked out. Dude, I've had someone ask me, is he snoring? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> fucking snoring, dude. Like, dude, the, They didn't know that that's what happens when you get knocked the fuck out. That's what happens when you fucking... It's crazy. Fuck with the chai guy. The chai guy. I don't, I'm not. I'm not uh, a fighter no, whatsoever. No, no, but no, uh, no. but it's just weird to hear this guy talk like that and like know that knowing that I could fucking step into his whole chest right now and just destroy the deflate the dude, deflate his ego, deflate everything he thinks that he knows. And I'm not even skilled. That's what's so fucking crazy. Is like how has he not run into someone who's just dismantled him? Uh, it, it, maybe he has and he's just you know blocking that out or whatever it's just weird that he wanted me to know that he's some fucking badass you know like fucking yeah I'm that fucking guy it's just why dude okay cool it's just it's just weird people like they, his wife is all embarrassed I felt so bad for her dude she's like listening to this this dude being fucking fake tough guy and she probably knows that he's a bag of kittens you know It yeah it doesn't make, seem to make sense but when you think about it people like if they're talking about it most of them they're not about it it's like why would you like when people are like oh yeah my, my business is exploding this and that I'm like really like I feel like if it was, but it probably, you like, if it's true though, it, it. maybe it makes you feel good. I mean, I don't know. I, when it comes to stuff like that, like, obviously, I don't. To people but, you don't know, like yeah, really, yeah. really, really. I like, don't think he realizes he looks like a fucking crazy person more than anything. Well, yeah, because for some reason he gets his dick hard. That <sighs> so that he gets to abuse like uh, he gets to abuse people under some job title that they gave him. Apparently, that's why he stepped down the first time was because they told him, "Well, you can't like go tackle people anymore. You can't just like clothesline people, uh, you know, Whoa. because it's, that's what he was doing before. Apparently, back then you were allowed to. So, like, I think they made this dude into a monster, you know, to make him. They built him into this. You were allowed to clothesline people. In you the were work allowed, yeah, or like criminals. Sorry, like thieves. So you were allowed to just go chase them down and beat the shit. Uh, Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, so, like, you can't really do that. Not anymore. anymore, no. So, like, that's why he stepped down. He's like, this is bullshit. I can't fucking go beat people up or whatever. Craziness. But, uh, but again, the people that he's probably beating the shit out are just, like, probably people who don't know how to fight. Because I cannot imagine that you'd run up on someone and squaring off with them who knows how to box, who knows how to just step in the right way, or just knows how to throw Can a Can you just tell, by the way, that he moves? You can, I, okay, so, like, you can tell by the way he stands and the way, like, he's very square, very rigid, very stiff, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. if he's, he's not fluid, then it's hard to move, Well, hard to fight. not only that, but he's just, um, it's, it's weird, man, the way he carries his body weight, it's like, he knows how to, like, if he got a hold of you and was trying to wrestle you, he'd probably do really well, but I don't, I don't believe he knows how to throw a punch that's not super choreographed that you know it's gonna come, or it's not, like, a big wind-up or something. Right, right, right. Like, he doesn't know how to just explode with power, I think his is, like, a, a different I don't know I don't think he knows how to fight basically right like he's an athlete 
No, nah, he's not even an athlete, probably. I mean, I would say that he I, I, was Yeah, like, maybe that's where he's more of an athlete than a fucking fighter. Uh, I don't even think he's an athlete, yeah. Right. Yeah, he's just like a, a regular dude. He's an average Joe who thinks, he, you know, in his mind he's this bad motherfucker. And dude, you know, maybe he is, I don't know, but it's, I just don't believe it. Right. It just seems skeptical. I'm skeptical. Okay. And like, real bad motherfuckers that I know don't talk like that. No. No, they don't. At least, you know, I know a few, and they're very scary people sometimes. And, uh, you know, they... I think they usually... I've always thought... You can just tell by standing in the, the presence of someone the nicest, who's a badass. Yeah, people who are the nicest are usually the best fighters a lot of times. Maybe, but like, I don't know, man. I know some people that are, like, really good fighters and they're really nice people, but I, I guess so you wouldn't. You just wouldn't expect it. Yeah, like, I, I guess that's what I mean, like... The one who's like, I'm a fuck, I'm, I'm fucking. Sometimes those guys are badasses too, yeah, though, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. my homie is my homie's like crazy. that. Yeah, and he fucks fools. Up. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew him. up with a bunch of people like that. I love yeah. him, but I can't go out with him because yeah. he just he like, oh, especially if he's doing yay or some shit. He's because it's a, it's like level. times ten, dude. Yeah, it's just. It's like, dude, you're gonna get us arrested just by having us trying to pull you off of this fucking poor guy. That was you didn't yeah. need even. How he's humongous, dude. And he expects and he's you guys skilled. to pull, yeah, yeah. And it's like, and he has experience, mm. and he's super quick and ridiculously strong. <laughs> he's enormous. Yeah, he'd eat shots. Yeah, you know, like he's at least six two, six three, like two forty. Man, it's not, it's not fair. And so when I was younger, like those are my favorite people to party with because I knew that okay, this dude, you know, if shit got crazy and we end up getting into a fight. At least he's this guy's gonna handle himself. his own. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. 100%. That's why I love party with him too. But then it started to be like, oh, he's going to handle uh, several gonna people. Get he's going to start some yeah. shit. Yeah. And oh, he already knows it. I yeah. mean, I wish he was right here. I'll probably have him on the show sometime. He's a partner of my another business, actually. Cool. I love him. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I got to piss. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll finish this one up. Let me. We'll figure out if we're going to do another one or not. Okay. I'm definitely down. But yeah, let's. I need to piss too now. Cool. Um, Me first. Well, yeah. Fuck. Okay. I got Andrew's coming. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna just do. A quick, go I'm gonna do the piss piss show. I'm gonna do the piss piss show number two. <laughs> Real fast to end it. All right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead and get out of the room so I can talk shit about you. Whatever, bro. No, no, that's, I a know piss that's piss. what you do, man. Dude, I'm, I, t- I told you exactly what the piss piss show is. <laughs> all right, before we get out, piss piss show number two. Fucking try this, dude. I fucking, I actually need to pee. He's probably in there just fucking swinging that loose batter around, slamming it against the kitchen sink, just wasting fucking time trying to make it bleed so he could period his way out of the second fucking show. This fucking asshole. All right, hope you got that, you know. Love Chides, love you guys. Thank you so much, you know. Psycho Show's back. Um, VJ out, love you. Follow me at It's Mr. VJ on pretty much everything. All right, bye-bye.